Hello all, so in the last video we have completed all the hardware designs. So finally let's test whether this neural network really works on hardware. So I am I'm trying a very simple case. So we already have the block design generated by our Zynet script. Now uh, you have to make minor modifications to the block design uh, before we run it on hardware. Okay. So you can see he already interfaced a DMA controller for transferring data from memory to our neural network. The only issue is this DMA controller uh, stream width will be always 16 bit. Okay, he doesn't care actually what is the interface width of our neural network. So in our implementation, it was only 8 bit. So maybe in the new version of Zynet, uh, I, I can manage this. This will be automatically updated. But as of now, you have to manually change it. Okay, so our data width is 8, so you need to choose 8. Also check this option, unaligned transfer, reason I have explained in the previous tutorial. Okay, so that modification you have to do manually. And now, as usual, you have to create a HDL wrapper. And after that, choose that as the top module. As of now, you can see Zynet, uh, this HDL is the top module. Okay, instead of that, you choose this system as the top module and generate bitstream and after that uh, export it to SDK, our usual business. Okay, so just generate bitstream and after that export to SDK. So uh, let him do it. In parallel, what we can do is we can uh, generate the data for testing. So yesterday for simulation, we already generated those 10,000 data. So one option is to put them in, in the SD card and use it for testing. Okay. I'm attempting a simple case using the header file uh, that gets generated. So remember, we have this gen test data script. In the previous tutorial, we used this one, gen all test data to generate all 10,000. But now I am just generating a single data uh, since we just wanted to test it. Okay, so just choose gen test data, data width is 8 again, and uh, you can specify which data you want to test. I am giving test data num 0. So now if I run python gen test data dot py, as we have seen before, he generates the test data. Okay, so it is here. So this I already showed you. So Zero data is seven. This is for visualization purpose. What we are actually interested is this one, data values dot h header file. So he generates a header file, and uh, uh, the 784 values representing this uh, digit is actually stored as a single array. So here also you have to make minor modification. Again, this data type uh, it will be always integer type. But since we are using 8 bits interface, this int should be replaced as char type because each one of them is 8. Okay, so if you are using 8 char, if we are using 16 uh, short, if you are using 32, we can put int. Okay. Now other values, in between values here, yeah, we will have to uh, again do some configuration in the software so that uh, it is automatically taken care of. Okay, so you just make it cat. So that's it. We are going to use this header file uh, for testing. So I'll come back once he finishes uh, bitstream generation. Okay, bitstream generation is completed. Now uh, we'll look at the software. I have already exported the hardware here. Uh, now I guess you already know all the steps how to do it. So I'm not showing it again. So that is exported and that data values dot h header file that is also imported to this project file. Again, remember to change it to cap. This is actually showing uh, which is this number actually. Okay, so he should detect it as seven. Okay, uh, that is there. Now the main code, this is uh, very similar to the code that we use for image processing because we are basically using the DMA controller for just transferring uh, this data to our neural network, right? No big deal. So this is where we initialize the DMA controller. This is where we initialize the generic interrupt controller. And this is where we are connecting the interrupt from Zynet to the 
interrupt controller okay we don't have to connect the dma controller interrupt because there is no uh, special information the dma transfer is saying like giving like if he says like he finished dma transfer it doesn't mean anything uh, we can check the result only when we get interrupt from the neural network the zynet okay so we are using only his interrupt so this is where we are connecting that interrupt and this is where we are connecting the corresponding isr uh, for zynet and we just call xcdma transfer to the dma controller and we are transferring this data values this guy and total number of data is 28 by 28 784 and we are transferring from memory to device and we are just waiting for the interrupt to happen now this done signal is set by the isr so once he gets isr you can see done signal becomes high and he reads from the status register of zynet to clear the status register so even if you don't read it nothing will happen okay so he clears the status register and we will come out of this infinite while loop and now he is reading from address 8 so again remember address 8 in the axi light address map was representing the output right so it's our zynet Okay, so in XCLI trapper, output register is 2. That means from processor address 8. So we are just reading from 8 and we are just printing detected number, whatever we got, and expected number result. That is this guy. So if they are matching, that means it is working. Okay, so that's it. So you just go run configuration, check all of them, check this and uh, connector atom and just say run okay and let's see what happens okay so you can see detected number seven expected number seven so he properly detected okay so if you wish as i mentioned uh, you can uh, create a header file with all these data you will have to slightly modify this uh, gen test data to add all the data to the header file okay so this part writing to the header part this one you will have to add it to here also gen all test data that's that's one way or you can take all the data generated by this guy and put it in the sd card read from sd card and do dma transfer uh, which i have shown in the previous tutorials or what i really want to do is we interface a camera with Z board. We really show a digit through the camera and he properly detects it. Okay. Uh, that we will do at some point of time. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have access to any monitor at this point. So that we will postpone and that we will do later. Okay. But this one you can definitely try. Thank you.